first bait gun out. Using live speedos on stinger rigs with two hooks, a J hook in the front, two trebles in the back, and we're gonna be bump trolling around and hopefully we'll see some some big wahoo skying out. Oh, 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 probably 10 minutes and we have three wahoos in the boat i'm hooked up right now it is absolutely insane we caught a bunch of speedos for bait this morning with the hoop net i'm coming up very exciting intro we got over here <laughs> it has been nothing but non-stop action It's alright, John, I got it. Is that your fish or is that what you're trying to eat it? No, it's my fish. There you go. That's my oh, fish. Sorry. Sorry. John took a break, left his wahoo in the rod holder right there. Brooke's still hooked up. Oh, he just came off. Wow. Foul hook. 
think you were wrapped in her liner now. No, he just got found. Here's a snack, John. Yeah, Holy yeah. smokes, bro! Heck yeah! That's 100% my biggest wahoo. Good job. Woohoo! Wow. On a small reel. Look at that. Heck yeah, that is some freaking fun fishing. It's not trolling planters behind the boat and skipping your wahoo across the surface. That's epic. I don't know if I'll even be able to hold this thing up. Well, we're one for or five for six, I think. That's not bad. All right, Brixter. Heck yeah. Gorgeous fish. Our sixth Wahoo in the boat or fifth Wahoo? Fifth. Fifth, fifth Wahoo in the boat. Heck yeah, baby. My first Wahoo in the boat for the day. And it seems like it's just gonna be one after another. So exciting. This is a Speedo that we're using as bait. The money bait right here. I'll show you guys one more time how we hook it. Big single right here in the nose. And then Cody's got a sliding treble hook system. One here, one there. All right guys, well we went about like an hour with no bites and then bam, we just got a triple. We got two in the boat already. We're working on Cody's third one up front. There we go. So we hooked the double and we always leave a long out and we hooked two fish. We let our, our other bait back and while we were fighting the two other fish, about a, I don't know, 40, 50 pounder just aired out on it. So we're working on number three. We got the other two. And on the smallest rail. Yep. Epic fishing today. It's big. I can feel them kicking me. Very heavy. It's all right. We're doing fine. It's just hard I'm pulling on them with a toothpick. If it was a yellowtail, it would probably be good. But this was your idea. I'm with it. I'm all for it. I just didn't expect the biggest fish of the day to eat this rod. You'll never forget it, though. <laughs> I've never, I've never personally seen one fall on a route like that. Oh my gosh, it's huge, Cody. John, wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for one more circle. Don't scare him. It's huge. Oh my god. It's a nice one. It's a log. Wow. Got him? Yeah. yeah, he did. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Holy crap! Yeah. Is the other good? Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god! I was wondering if it was a 60 pounder. That thing is huge! Wow. You want another guy? Oh, uh, watch your back. Wow. She wow. is a slug! That is oh a slug! Oh my god! He's 70 Dude. pounds. Oh my. Good job, guys. That's a 70 pounder all day. Pretty well. Hell yeah, man. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. a nice fish, bro. Good job, Cody. Okay, you got to get a pick of that right now while set up with that rod. I will. Cody, you're going to need a bigger boat. in the boat we got that's our second triple that we got absolutely epic fishing it's insane come on oh brook oh my god oh my god we got that oh brook oh my god oh my god we got that holy crap Get him, babe. Oh, look at him! Go down the back, down the back. Brooke, watch the D-ring. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. You're good, you're good. You guys, this fish is going psycho. I can't, no. 
Oh. That fish was absolutely psycho. He deserved to get away, honestly. Oh, he came off? Yeah. Dude, that thing's cool. Brick, what happened there? <sighs> he literally shot across the surface, across the around the entire <laughs> boat. That was insane. And then the hooks just pulled on him. He? I've never seen a fish move that fast in my life. That was you guys crazy. Didn't see the full jump. This thing jumped like a bird out like a snail. Yeah, it did. Have you ever seen a fish do that? I mean, I've seen fish do that, but not as many times as we have today. You know, we've already seen, I don't know, five different fish jump out of the water. No, I mean shoot across, dude. He oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, had him, front to back. I've had people with their rod face to the, the back of the boat, and their fish is in front of us like 50 yards. Neutral? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good fish. Oh, man, I missed that one. Good mouth. Good fish. Second deployment done. Okay. Down the hat. Such a bad ass fish. Nice work, boys. Good job. These are like one of the fastest fish in the ocean, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're built literally for speed. And they're just an incredible fish. Today's bite is absolutely insane. Cody says it's been like this for a couple of weeks. And there are boats everywhere, so you're kind of dodging everyone who's trolling. And there's also divers in the water. A lot of people know about it, but absolutely insane. Oh my god. Mark a couple fish That was a full commitment from the gecko, wasn't it? Oh! oh. Yeah, he's going to come out of your body. He just blew up on the surface. John saw him back there and he said it's really big. Oh, oh you see that? I kept running. That's him. Look at all the flyers getting up. Yeah, look at him running out there. That's your fish way out there. Yeah, turn towards the way. It's a big one, dude. That thing is off top. Yeah, it's Roger. Like, seen it perfectly, bro. He swam by both baits and just did a U turn on that long. <laughs> it was like spinning go to the front row. Go to the front, yeah. Oh, we'll keep tight, yeah. Just watch your drag. So we hadn't had a bite there for quite some time. Still just trolling three lines, one far, one in the middle, one short. This ain't the long bait. That's one angry fish, bro. So awesome. I can't get over, I can't get over catching them like this. Just an insane, insane bite. Oh, no. He's done that a couple times. Look, look, look. Oh my crap. gosh, this is a big fish. Big, big fish. I'm doing great, bro. Okay. This fish is crazy. Yeah, he's he's gonna be sketchy on the gap. Be careful when he's that. close, bro. He's gonna run by you. He's straight down. Look at him on the surface. Mag in the back. So everything's hot. So crazy. <laughs> I think. I think it's like an angry old thing. So bad. Picking you all over the place. You have attracted all the psycho fish today, just so you know. <laughs> all yeah, the you psychos. Get all, the screamers. all the ones that want to take me all the way around. Literally. Yeah, you know, this fish is just staying on top and disco dancing. They're going so Look fast that their tail is just like <laughs> what that's gonna change direction.
keep it clear of those motors, bro. Good job, John. <laughs> Pretty sick. Thank you. Um, nice fish. Nice fish. I haven't seen a bad one yet. It's got stripes. It's got stripes. Wow. Epic. Epic. It's bright. I can hold this one sideways. Okay. Good job, Brixter. Thank you. Let's get his hooks out. Shout out to John. I think he's hooked. I mean, I think he's gaffed almost every single fish today besides yeah. Victor gaffed one of his, but it's, it's, excellent gaff shots all day long. It's literally my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> literally honored to be able to gaff that thing right now. <laughs> got all three hooks right oh. next to each other. Yeah, he was not coming unglued, was he? Yeah. Lassoed around the front of the snout. All right, guys. Another beautiful fish in the boat. Gorgeous fish. Tasty fish. And even though they got these small little teeth, they're actually razor sharp. So not a fish you want to get your fingers too close to, even though my fingers are in there, but I know where they're at, so. Awesome day. This guy's going in the fish box with all his friends, and if you're wondering, how we can keep this many wahoo today. Cody is a commercial fisherman, so these fish are going to be sold. Hey guys, welcome back to the filet table. We are home in Pompano Beach. We got our wahoo here. We had to knock the head off to fit it into our cooler, even though we have a big cooler, but we didn't want to bend this wahoo. You don't want to mess up this kind of meat on such a wonderful fish by trying to bend it to fit into your cooler. So just chop the head off, makes it nice and easy. So we have beautiful meat on this Wahoo. T take a second to appreciate those stripes though. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah, got lit up in the cooler, huh? Yeah. Normally they don't look this good. You got a good looking Wahoo there, Brooke. Yes, I do. So let's get to filleting this guy. I'm gonna make a cut by the tail right here. Start it out. Then I'm gonna find the backbone and I'm gonna work my way down on it now one thing that I wanted to say is like I had said Cody is a commercial fisherman but he also is a charter captain and you guys have seen us fish with him a bunch he does a lot of different things he has put us on he has put us on so many different fish we've always had a great time with him if you guys are looking for a charter captain in the keys, check them out. I'll have all his information linked down in the description. Now that I reached the backbone on this side, I'm gonna spin them around like this. And we also gutted the fish um, as well when we took the head off. So, there's no bone here, so I'm kinda just gonna Run my knife down the middle of them until I reach where the bone's gonna start again, which is like right here. So now the same thing on the bone to the tail. Now that I detached the meat from the spine from this way down, now I'm gonna go from this, like the middle section to the head deeper in. So now, spinning it back around like this. Now we're kind of just running our knife down to separate off of that backbone. Beautiful. It's getting a little heavy. <laughs> Wow, beautiful, Brooke. Not too shabby, huh? No. It's not the easiest fish in the world to flay either, and I can bet you there's not many girls, let alone guys, that can do that good of a job on there. You've only filleted like two, three wahoo in your life. Probably only a couple. Looks well, very good. 
I am pretty proud of that, so. Now, if you guys are interested in the knife that I was just using, this is a six inch curved boning knife by Dexter Outdoors. You guys always see us using Dexter knives. If you're interested in it and buying any of their products, you guys can use my code BROOK20 to save 20% on any Dexter Outdoors products. I'm gonna move this guy off the fillet table and I'm gonna just set him on the floor while I skin the rest of that side. There's a lot of hungry catfish waiting down there, ready for the carcass. Now we're going to remove the stomach section. that that's that belly lining as well as your bones are in there watch this ready wahoo is something that's pretty difficult to skin because the skin is so thin so to make it easy on you it's easiest if you separate into sections that you're going to do so like this. And now what we're gonna do, Victor actually just taught me this trick. I'm used to doing the normal, just going down the whole length of the fish. But as you can see, if you look this way on your Wahoo, there is a bloodline that runs down the center of it. And just look at how gorgeous that is. You see how iridescent? Mm -hmm. Amazing. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go cut down and we're not gonna go all the way through now we're going to turn our knife and it's basically just like skinning this small little section wow beautiful huh so then it made it nice and easy we one don't get that bloodline and two easy perfect beautiful little piece Wow, amazing, huh? So, just like that, that's the piece you don't want, the bloodline that's in there. And then you just feed that to your cat friend. So now I'm gonna fillet the other side of the Wahoo, and I did switch knives. This is a seven inch flexible fillet knife that I did the skinning with, which I'll have that all linked down below. And I will see you guys in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So today for lunch, we're going to be making some Wahoo tacos. We're gonna just do them nice and simple and blacken them. And then a nice blackened fish goes well with a avocado cream sauce. So we're going to be making that as well. Now, before we move on to the fish, I'm going to do a little self promo. As you guys know, we do a lot of lobster videos and I make these nets and tickle sticks myself. For lobstering, I have a ton of lobstering videos using these in action. I hand make them all, and if you guys are looking for a Christmas present for someone who dives a lot or you think someone would enjoy these, I also have t-shirts on my website, floridalobsternets.com. I'll have a link in the description, but they make a nice little Christmas gift if you don't know what to get that special person. <laughs> so let's get to um, cooking. My favorite blackening seasoning. Um, Chef Paul's Blackened Redfish Magic. And we're gonna just cover these babies nice and good. As you can see, they're portioned, kind of like, just like what you would wanna fit into a taco. And I'm gonna flip them all over and do the same thing on the other side. Another thing I wanna say is today for lunch, we're doing the tacos, but tomorrow we're going to be doing a big sushi night with all of our friends. I don't think I'm gonna film at all, but I think I'm gonna do some B-roll tomorrow night of everything that we end up making. So today's tacos, tomorrow is the real, enjoying it raw, sushi, sashimi, all that kinds of stuff. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow after we make a giant spread. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Now that our fish is seasoned, moving on to the avocado cilantro cream sauce. 
We used to make this a lot, but we have not made it in quite some time. So we have two avocados in here. Now I got this beautiful head of cilantro. Rip off a good chunk of that. Put that in there. Then we're going to do a scoop of sour cream. And we're gonna do like 50-50 sour cream and mayonnaise. Something that I thought we had in the fridge when I went to the store, but we didn't, was garlic. So I wasn't gonna run back to the store to just get garlic. So instead, we're using garlic powder. But I would have rather have used regular garlic in there. And then lastly, lime juice. Okay. Rule number one, always make sure your lid is very tight and on even. <laughs> okay, so this is our finished product. Looks absolutely delicious. And we're gonna put it in here. Oh yeah, it's like a delicious green smoothie. All right, so since we're kind of cooking a lot of fish, and fish is best served hot. I got two pans going at the same time. We got some butter in there and a little olive oil and our fish is going in. What a nice break from work. Come over here and they've got lunch all prepared. We've been eating such good quality fish lately. All these groupers and now we got this Wahoo taco sandwich is just, wow, it's, it's delightful. Delicious, good job, bro. Well, we just had some killer Wahoo tacos made by Brookie. Tomorrow we have that sushi night and all in all, I mean, you can't go wrong. We've had so much good fresh fish lately. Gag grouper, black grouper, gag grouper again. And now we got probably 30 pounds of wahoo in the fridge, so I am a happy man. One of Brooks' classic recipes, uh, fish tacos, and they were great. Super, super fun lunch meal, so thanks, Brooke. I loved it. Um, best tacos ever. Uh, love the screen sauce you put on there. Um, so good, love it. Tacos are my favorite food, so this was a real treat. And we don't get Wahoo too often, so that was an even bigger treat, so that was delicious. And yeah, now just, as much as I love a lot of Victor's fancy meals, I do love the classics, like the street taco, so well done for another great, great one in the books. Well, I never filmed an outro the other day, and it's been a couple nights since we did our big sushi night and I didn't take any nice footage on this camera, but I did take a couple of videos on my phone, but it was absolutely epic. Victor and I made more sushi than we ever have for any of the parties that we've ever done, but I absolutely love doing those big sushi nights. I think we rolled like 40 rolls of sushi, sashimi, um, seared wahoo. We even broke out some bluefin tuna from our trip to California, so it was an epic night. I think we had like 16 people here or something, so it was a lot of fun. But I wanna give a big thank you to Captain Cody for taking Victor and I out fishing. That is a trip I will never forget, catching absolutely amazing fish, fish that you absolutely dream of catching, 
in a way that you even dream of catching them. So again, if you guys are interested in fishing with him, I will have his information linked down in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh! oh I got it! <laughs> I got it! <laughs>